from Petiti Garden Center and we're here at our Oakwood Village store and I wanted to talk to you about pollinators because it's going to be National Pollinator Week right in the middle of June and there's so much color to really attract those pollinators out there and bring them into your gardens. When we talk about pollinators we want you to attract as much as you can so everything from the bees to the hummingbirds to the butterflies they can all come in and all the plant material that I'm going to show you today is really going to bring them in. Number one key is actually purchasing pollen and nectar rich plants. So any plants that you see true pollen in, that's a great indicator that a pollinator is gonna come to that plant. Also, um, plants that are in the daisy family. So we're gonna talk about that too. And then the other thing about um, a pollinator garden and, and those types of areas, is just try to keep them as clean as possible. Use as few pesticides as you can. And if you ultimately have to, um, try to apply those pesticides, try to use organic types, and then also try to apply them in the evening when the pollinators aren't as active. So that's something really important to remember. Also, water. So if you're wanting to bring the pollinators in, a good source of water is, is a nice thing to have around your pollinator plants. Uh, with butterflies, it's usually a little muddy or sandy puddle. Um, with your hummingbirds, of course, uh, bird bass, shallow bird bass work very, very well. So that's always a good thing to have on hand. As far as plants are concerned though, there's a lot out there that will work. And again, I mentioned diversity. Diversity is the key. So as many different shapes, sizes, colors, and then also as many that will flower and kind of bloom all the way through the growing season for you to continue to have those pollinators come back into the garden and get more nectar and more pollen. The first family is the daisy family. So I have the sunflower over here. That family is very, very diverse. So something like a sunflower is fantastic for the bees. That's Sunfinity sunflower, so it keeps on blooming for you. And then, of course, your Shasta daisies. This is Daisy May from Proven Winners. And it's a great medium-sized, wonderful repeat bloomer. Anything like the zinnias. Zinnias are awesome for the bees, the hummingbirds, and the butterflies. So they do a great job for us out there really all season long once they get started. Um, other plants that we should look at, the verbena family. So this upright verbena is verbena bonariensis, and this is more of like a biennial. It'll seed and it'll come back in the garden for you. The one down below in this hanging basket is actually an annual verbena, this peach color. And they're fantastic for, again, all of the pollinators. They do really, really wonderful. Um, the mint family. So this is bee balm or monarda. And what's wonderful about this plant is that it is in the mint family. And believe me, a lot of herbaceous types of blooming plants will uh, work really, really well for your pollinators. So your bee balm is wonderful. Also your salvia, and it's kind of, um, hidden down below here, but this is your meadow sage, your perennial sage, and there are annual types of salvia too that'll work to bring the pollinators. So look for your sage families, your mint families, dill, um, lots of different herb families, lavender. All of those families do very, very nicely attracting the pollinators as well. Couple other families that you can't go wrong with, the butterfly bush. So I've got two varieties of butterfly bush here. These are both buzz butterfly bush. Uh, buzz is a nice dwarf variety. I have a purple here and then also a magenta. And boy, talk about your top number one, number two for the butterflies, but the hummingbirds love them. We see a lot of hummingbird moss in the stores around them too. So they get a lot of species that uh, are attracted to this. And then something that you might not think of that um, will come a little bit later and they're just starting to butt up, things like goldenrod. There are some beautiful varieties of goldenrod available. This is little lemon and little lemon, you can tell, beautiful bright green foliage. It's just starting to bud up at the top. This is not the plant that you get all of your allergens from. Goldenrod is a very good native, does very well in the garden with us. And again, great sort of mid to late season uh, attractant for pollinators. Also look for the butterfly weed. So there's lots of types of Asclepius out there. We've got some yellow, orange blooming varieties. Also the prairie milkweed as well. So they're just starting to bud up. They'll be ready here pretty soon. But again, 
talk about a great mid-season plant to late season where it'll really give a lot of nectar for the uh, butterflies and also a good space to, um, of course, lay their eggs for the larvae. So again, lots of different plants to attract those pollinators in the yard. If you ever have any questions, we have gardening guides on petitegardencenter.com that talk about butterfly attractants, hummingbird attractants. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, you could always come and see us at Petiti's. Enjoy. Thank you.